Ito kami. Nakablog ako, Paul. <laughs> We're here in... What building is here? French, French yung kanila eh. Salita nila sa taas. We? Hintayin namin yung iba. Anong building to? Legislative. No! Ang legislative, the other one. Human rights. This is the Manitoba Human Rights Building. So, hello. Hello, guys. Hello, guys. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Dito kami ngayon sa Manitoba Human Rights Human Rights Building Dao. So, see? Mataas, taas. Ay, post mo ka na. Hindi yan yung mag-tipla sa atin kasi nagpa-vlog sa marami siya rin. Oo. Ano ka ba? Pataas pala? Parang nakita na niya yung maganda yung maganda. Hindi ko nakita ko lang ito na parang pa ganun-ganun. Ang ganun na makakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakak
Sige, abibibidyo pa ako. Jan Fabrics Watch. Oh. Jan Lock. That's Jan Lock. Jean Jacques Roju. Roju. Thomas. Tosan. Tosan. Lover Tour. Dog harness era 1967. We're here in the human rights building and then you ask, you can see this is the Canadian this is the old Canadian PR card this one this is how it looks like yan yung pinakamaluma then survival goods so ito yung mga gamit nila dati Emily Murphy ne peut pas être disqualifiée en tant que juge simplement parce qu'elle est une femme. Mais Emily Murphy a de plus grandes ambitions. Elle veut un siège au Sénat canadien. Ici, les lois britanniques.
demonstrators attacked a street car driven by strike breakers. The military and the special police charged the crowd. Protesters fought back with rocks and bricks. The police responded with billy clubs and guns. At day's end, two onlookers were dead. At least 34 were wounded and 80 were arrested. Fearing further violence, the following day, the strike leaders agreed to end the strikes. The plan is to apprehend, relocate, and aggressively assimilate Aboriginal children. Through this, it was believed they would become productive members of society. The schools are part of a legacy of forced assimilation that stretches into the 21st century. This part is the tree territory and this is the provinces. I think so. So this is the last. Uh, this is the last floor of this uh, human rights building, and as you can see. May mga gamit sila na, di ba? And we have the cannon. It's the old one, FT. It's a cannon. And that's 50 mm. That's the old one. Yan yung kaulong mo. Papa na ako ng bigla. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> 82 ten? I know. Parang 53. 53? 30? Mm, no. What is that? National. Thank you. 
Was that song? One day in August 1994, Evelyn Amon was coming home from school in Guru Town, Uganda. She didn't know her whole life was about to change. Another one. 